Alright guys, what is up? It is your boy Poe Pro broadcasting live and direct from the Poe Production Studios. And right now, we are going to beat the Black Rabbi. An infamous boss, or secret boss from the original Seekin Densetsu 3. A level 99 misleading evil little bunny that's just full of all hate and rage. And this bunny fight's a little bit different than his predecessor. And yeah, this this one's a bit of a thing. I already did one attempt on him and lost. Or her, I don't want to assume the sex or gender of the bunny. But yeah, it's not really an easy fight. It keeps you on your toes. But you do need to manipulate some things. So what I would highly suggest, first off, right now I'm at level 99 for all three of my characters. This is not really New Game Plus style material, but I did play a New Game Plus file with three fresh characters, but I equipped them with some perks that just made them level up crazy fast. My guys are class 4 right now. Duran and Kevin are both half naked, while Angela looks like Madonna. As my friend once pointed out, that it looks like Madonna with two of her backup dancers. And you know what? That's exactly what it is. We're fighting as Madonna with two backup dancers. That's how you gotta kill the Black Rabbi. You gotta, you know, just throw him off a little bit. Throw him off his game. Think that a celebrity's coming down to fight him. Alright, so anyway, what I would suggest, though, for your items... Have a lot of Cup of Wishes. The Black Rabbi is one move that is absolutely cheap that will kill you. Um... Along with that, medical herbs are a really good thing to have because, you know, the Black Rabbi can turn you into a midget version of yourself, possibly poison you, some other things. Have a lot of healing items, honey elixirs, poto oils. Candies are kind of worthless at this point, but chocolates are good. Stardust herb is a really important one because if the Black Rabbi feels like throwing some saber spells on you, or like really downing your stats somehow, you want to have these this spell that but the one thing that some things that are really important bring a couple of these eyes with you for instance one shadow eye you decrease all stats of the enemy so i'm knocking down his attack power i'm knocking down his magic defense i'm knocking down his speed i'm knocking down his regular defense uh slime eye decreases their attack power and specter eye also dispels all their magic effects so if the Black Rabbi wants to heal himself with dark magic, it's not going to work this time around. And that's how the original Black Rabbi used to work. So, let's fight dirty right now. Because this is an enemy that's really, really, uh, deceiving. A powerful enemy lies ahead. The outcome of this battle will not affect the main story. You can return to this enemy even if you turn back now. Proceed. Absolutely. Are you certain? The game's really trying to say like, look buddy, you're gonna get your butt kicked. I am absolutely certain I want to get my butt kicked. Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins, baby. Oh, it's a cute little bunny. I find it adorable that the bunny does roar at you. First things first, don't even waste any time right now. Bring up your ring menu, throw these eyes on him. That's the move that kills you instantly. And thank god I was in the middle of throwing an item because I was invincible for a moment. Oh my god, I almost died in one second. Is he dashes around all over the place, so you really need to be on your toes and watch and see what he is doing. Get out of the way of all those red markings. Black 
Rabbi famous is going for summon demons. You also want to make sure you destroy these things. It is a fun fight, it keeps you on your toes. Isn't funny. Okay, Angela just died. I gotta I gotta heal her. You gotta constantly keep an eye out for like graphics of your enemies or of your allies uh life bars going black. You need to heal them. Kevin's getting beaten up right now, so right now, I'm going to cast Pony on myself. That's the, okay, that just sucked. That was a little bit bad luck. I was trying to roll out of the way. That's the spell for the attack that insta-kills you. It's cheap, but unfortunately Black Rabbit likes to use it a lot. Anytime any boss is like summon one of these things with this little meter with a little evil face on it, just destroy it. Oh, he might just be out of range of that attack, and he was out of range. Got a lot of um attacks on you, but it's a very fun fight. It's just it's cheap at times because he really hits you hard unexpectedly. The original game, the fight was much different because it was more of a reaction-based uh, attack or style of combat. If you use like a level 1 class attack, he's only going to respond to level 1 attacks. But the second you start using level 3 attacks, he's going to start decimating you. But honestly, the Spectre's eyes and those eyes that disable his like stats are like vital in this. Just be safe, throw a couple healing items. We're in good shape. We're level 99. We're overpowered right now. I like that there's like little baby black rabbits like, you also have to kill. Oh, that's not fair. I didn't know that the little baby black rabbits would attack you too. Should work. I can my allies like try to kill these guys? Oh god. That's bad. This is bad. I didn't have this happen last time. Ancient curse. Oh god, I'm almost curious to see like what this entails. Oh, a meteorite just fell. Actually, it didn't really, wasn't that bad at all. That's right, I'm gonna cast a nuclear bomb on all oh, you jerky bombs out of the way. Just when you're stupid, you kind of jump in the way. Where are you, you jerk? This is what you get for jumping out of the way of that. Don't keep me with 
him over the head. And that's gonna kill him. And we got the black rabbi. So pretty much yeah, my uh strategy for this is just be as strong as possible. And he just hops away. He's like, eh, I've had enough of this. So, booyah, we got one experience point. <laughs> That's what you get for killing the Black Rabbi. But by defeating the Black Rabbi, you get a new ability. You get the Obsidian Power, the Black Rabbi Chain Ability. Zero MP needed for move in battle. That's actually really good if you feel like spamming magic like crazy. So it is a very fun fight, very invigorating, keeps you on your toes. 100% suggests using those specter eyes and ghost eyes and slime eyes and all those eyes. The eyes have it. Shadow eye, specter eye, and slime eye are very useful for that fight. Have a crap load of healing items. Definitely carry a bunch of cup of wishes. Not an impossible fight by any means, but a very challenging one. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed my little instructional video on how to kill the Black Rabbite. This is your boy Poe Pro signing out. Peace, love, and happiness. Wisdom, knowledge, supreme. Poe Pro blesses you all. One.